What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be checking out the details and animations for the new LR Omega Shenron that's going to be dropping on the JP side of the game very, very soon. Now, before we get into it, I just want to quickly say that I know the content on the channel has been lacking a bit recently. Um, things have just been kind of crazy in my life outside of YouTube, and I'll probably make a life update video for you guys uh, within the next few weeks just to give you guys an idea of you know what's going on in my life right but uh, anyways with that said let's talk about this Omega Shenron and before we do the breakdown of his kit let's watch the animations together and I haven't seen these animations yet so hopefully they're good uh, let me just pause the music here throw on some earbuds there we go and enjoy. Mio, <laughs> これは王神論の得意技だったな。今楽にしてやるぞ。もうこの星の運命など考えなくていいようにな。一気にこの星ごと吹き飛ばしてやる。この星もろとも消えてなくなれ。wow um is it just me or does this guy have like the greatest villain ost of all time i mean i was immediately locked in like at first i was like okay they look pretty normal they look pretty good they're pretty good animations but when the music really kicked in i was like locked in man that was that was epic that was epic yo let me just i just want to replay that first like 15 seconds again real quick here we go yeah that's crazy that's crazy i love that man when the man when the music kicks in and he okay yeah that's sick okay cool um really really dope animations i mean i think as far as like the animation quality goes it's not like the craziest thing we've seen but it's the combination of like the ost and the the animation of course that just takes it over the top so that's great now let's uh take a look at what he does because that's pretty important too um of course a big shout out to the homie goresh for providing us with the translations and uh, starting from the top, LR Omega Shenron, leader skill is GT bosses, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 200%. Um, so I like the boost, obviously 200% is great. Uh, GT bosses obviously is not the best category in the game right now, but uh, it's good that they're 
uh, working on it. You know, they are taking steps to improve it, and this Omega Shenron is is definitely a great addition to the category, right? So, um, yeah, not the best category at the moment, but over time, hopefully, it'll you know climb the ranks a little bit. Anyways, uh, that's the leader skill. Super attack, 12 key is Dragon Thunder. Raises defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, and lowers attack with a high chance to stun. 18 key, Hellish Dragon Sling Dance. Greatly raises defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, lowers attack and defense, and seals the enemy's super attack. Next up, we have the passive. Okay, so I'm just going to open this up in a separate page. Just to uh, zoom in a little bit here. Okay. Evil energy. Wait. From evil energy comes destruction. That's the passive. Interest animation plays upon character's first attacking turn once only and changes int key spheres to rainbow key spheres. For one turn, all enemies... Sorry. For seven turns. For seven turns, not one turn. All enemies attack and defense minus 25%. Key plus three and attack and defense plus 200%. Uh, attack plus 20% per attack performed up to 150% gains an additional key plus 1 and damage reduction of 5% per GT boss's category ally on the team. So a full team would give you 35% damage reduction and then gains an additional 7% uh, damage reduction per rainbow key sphere obtained. So if you get like 2, then you're up to already... 49% uh, damage reduction, if you get 3, that's 56, uh, right, and so on and so forth, so, um, yeah, this guy can get very, very tanky on a full GT bosses team, or, you know, a mostly GT bosses team. Uh, if HP is 50% or below at beginning of, uh, wait, at beginning of character's attacking turn, revive with 70% HP, if this character or any other character attacking in the same turn is KO'd. Uh, when own revival skill is activated, all attacks effective against all types and performs an additional super attack for the rest of the battle. So you actually want to get that revival skill to uh, go off, you know, fairly early in the fight so that you can get the double supers, um, guaranteed double supers for as long as possible, right? So uh, that's pretty interesting. So with the rev revival skill, you get not only attacks effective, but you also get the guaranteed second super. And then uh, active skill is minus energy power ball can be activated once three or more turns have elapsed from the start of battle and targeted enemy is in attack or defense down status, or once six or more turns have elapsed from the start of battle once only. So I like this part because obviously it's a lot more turns, but some enemies can't be debuffed, right? They can't be uh, affected by attack or defense uh, down status, right? So in that situation, you can at least still use the active skill um, after six turns. And then the effect temporarily greatly raises attack and deals ultimate damage to enemy and lowers attack and defense by 30% for one turn and nullifies the enemy's action once. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, the attack and defense buff is pretty significant um, of course nullifying enemy action can be a super attack possibly potentially and uh, the damage should be pretty good as well so that is the active skill and next up we have the links brutal beatdown big bad bosses gt fear and faith shadow dragons uh, fear a fierce battle and legendary power and categories are gc bosses shadow dragon saga full power and human deeds power absorption battle of fate Transformation boost and powerful comeback. So obviously this guy is going to be primarily used on a GT bosses team. Not to say that he can't be used on other teams, but you will lose out on a lot of damage reduction. So that's unfortunate. Um, otherwise, I think he's very good. I think he's very good. Is he as busted, at least on paper, as... Uh, you know, like a full power or super full power saving for Goku that we just got. Uh, I don't think so. I do think the Goku is better, but um, this Omega Shenron is great in its own right. And of course, I'm just saying this based on my first impressions, right? I've obviously never had a chance to use Omega Shenron, so this is just my opinion on paper or, or opinion of the details on paper. And uh, he looks really good. He looks like he's going to be extremely tanky, of course, on Shadow Dragons. Sorry, on GT Bosses. 
and uh, you know he's getting a lot of attack. He should be doing a lot of damage. Um, the revival skill is obviously uh, great to have as a you know means of surviving in harder events. And then after you revive, you're getting even more damage and you know more super attacks. So um, yeah, I think he's a very good unit. The only only knock against him is you know, this this GT boss's requirement essentially for him to get his full passive, for him to be as effective as possible. And um, yeah, like I said before, hopefully GT bosses is much better in the future, so it's not really a concern at that point. But for now, not the best category, but uh, Omega Shenron is pretty sick, and uh, I love those animations, man. I, I love the animations with the OST, it's just, it's just crazy. Is just crazy. So, uh, let me know in the comments, guys, what you think about the LR Omega Shenron. Are you hyped for him? Are you going to be summoning for him? And, uh, yeah, that's all I really got to say. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll be back as soon as I can with another Dokkan or some other kind of video. I've been thinking about branching out, maybe doing some food related content, cooking, eating, um, challenges, things like that. I've been saying that for a while, actually, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, that's all I gotta say for now. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.